Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at my Laceus flavus colony. I know that it, this isn't a special species, but the one thing that's special about this colony is that they have four queens. I've always known that Laceus flavus could be founded with pleometrosis. That's where the queens uh, co-found their colony, but kill each other after the first generation of workers eclosis. These queens didn't fight and they're still alive. So I think this colony could be called polygynous. I'm sorry for the bad image quality in this video, but that's because these nanitics are very small and I had to do some digital, digital cropping. These nanitics are 2 mm in length and the next workers will be around 3 mm. Here's their minimalistic outworld with a sand bedding and a bottle cap where I feed them their protein and their sugars. And they have a basic test tube setup as their nest. Here you can see the queens and their nanitics with some brood if you look really close. Here we have a shot really close to the queens. You can see that some queens still have their wings and that's because I scooped them out of a swimming pool and they didn't have time to shed their wings. But they lay eggs and the eggs are fertile because I haven't seen any males in this colony. This colony has around 15 to 20 workers I'd guess. I'm not good at estimating but yeah I guess around 20 workers or so. But that will change in the next couple of weeks because they have a lot of eggs which, which I'll show you in the next shot. These screens are by the way around 7 to 8 millimeters in length. Here is a cool shot from inside their test tube where you can really see detail on the workers and the queens. You can see that the queen is really curious at the thing that's just been inserted in their test tube. As you may be able to see, the queen in the back has a little dent in her thorax. I'm not sure how this has come to be, but if you know, let me know for sure in the comments. I'm not worried, worried about it though, because she looks to be doing fine. Laceus Flavus has also a nickname called the Yellow Meadow Ant or the Lazy Ant because it, compared to Laceus Niger they are slow growers and they are fairly inactive. Here you can see that they have a lot of eggs and some pupa and larva. And overall I think that Laceus flavus is a very cool species to keep. 
and if you can get your hands on a, on a queen, surely do. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!